Hi there, this is me now once again and welcome to another new playlist, Tech You Should Know. So here I will be breaking down complex tech jargons into simple languages and then we will also see its practical implementation on different operating system. So in today's video, we are going to see what exactly is domain name server and how do you change it on popular operating system like Windows, Mac, Android, iOS and even on your router level. Now like always, if you are only interested in a specific part of this video, then click on the video timestamp appearing in the screen right now. However, I will strongly recommend you watch the entire video so that you have the understanding of the complete picture. And with that being said, let's get started. So what exactly is DNS? Well, it is a system that translates domain name into the corresponding IP addresses. Sounds pretty technical, right? So let's make it simple. For example, let's take youtube.com. Now technically, youtube.com is actually an IP address. To be precise, it is the IP address of the server where the website is hosted. Now for us humans, it is difficult to remember a bunch of IP addresses for every website, right? So what we do is, we use easy to remember domain names like Facebook, Google and YouTube etc. But machines, they can only understand IP addresses. So you see, there's conflict of interest here. These machines can only remember numbers and they can only remember names. And guess what, this is exactly where DNS comes into picture. So what it does is, it sits between you and the machine and translate the domain name into the relevant IP addresses. Consider domain name as your phone book. So when you type youtube.com from your computer, the query first goes to the DNS server and then it translates it into the IP address and after that it goes to the web server. Now the important part here is every request that you're making first goes to your DNS server and after that it goes to the web server. So if someone can control your DNS server, they can see what exactly are you browsing. And more on that, they can even block certain websites on your network, like some of the ISPs too. In fact, I even have a video on how to do this and you can check it out by clicking on the YouTube cards on the top right. Now coming back, so as you can see, this is really important to know how you can change the DNS server of your devices so that you have more control on what you see. Now which DNS you want to use depends entirely on you. Like if you want to see what other people are browsing on your network then use OpenDNS or if you want to access geoblog websites like Netflix and Hulu then use SmartDNS or if you want to block audit content on your network then use Norton DNS and if you want reliability and speed then use Google DNS. I use the same. So for this tutorial we are going to use Google DNS but you are free to use whatever you want. Now the steps to change DNS server is pretty simple for all operating system. All you have to do is go to the network settings and then add to IP in the DNS field and that's it. So let's see how to do this on popular operating system. Let's start with the Windows computer. So go to the start menu and type in network and sharing center and then click on the top result. A new window will open. Here click on the connection name and then go to properties and then double tap on IPv4. Once you are here, select the use following DNS server option and then enter the primary and secondary Google DNS. Now one important thing to notice here is these DNS changes will override the DNS set on your router level. So say if the network admin is using open DNS on the router level then all the devices connected to that router will have open DNS. However, if you add Google DNS on this machine, then this machines will have Google DNS and not the open DNS. Once you are done, save the changes and close all the tabs. And that's it, you have successfully updated your DNS server. Changing DNS server on your Mac is also simple. Simply launch Spotlight by pressing shortcut, command plus space and then type in network and select the one that comes under system preference. Next click on the current connection name that will have a green dot next to it. Like for me, I am using the internet for my Wi-Fi. So I will select Wi-Fi and then click on the advanced settings. Now go to the connection properties and select DNS and then click on the plus sign to add DNS1 and DNS2. And that's it. 
Now another important thing to notice here is that these DNS changes are network specific. So if I switch my Wi-Fi, then my DNS server will also change. Now let's quickly see the steps for Android. So go to the Wi-Fi settings and long press on your current Wi-Fi name. There you will see the option to modify network. Tap on that. Now under the IP settings, change DSCP to static and then under DNS1 and DNS2, copy paste the 2 DNS server of Google. And that's it. Now I have noticed in some devices, there's no option to save changes like in this one where I am running Android 7.0. So for that, you can use apps like Wi-Fi settings. It is free and work pretty well. Now surprisingly, the steps are simplest for iOS and takes less than 5 seconds. So simply go to your Wi-Fi settings and then tap on the current Wi-Fi name. Again tap on the i symbol near it and then scroll all the way to the bottom till you see the DSCP option and then enter the two DNS records of Google. And that's it, go back and your changes will be updated. Until now, all these DNS changes were at device level. But what if you want to make it available on your network? then you will have to make these changes on your router level. So let's see how to do that. So fire up your browser and type in the IP address of your router. Now if you don't know what it is, then click on the YouTube cards or check the link in the description. I have a tutorial on that. Next you have to type in the login credential of your router. Again, if you don't know what it is, contact the person who has set up your network. Now your router interface may look different from mine, but steps are pretty similar. Start by looking for the wireless or DNS settings or you can also check the router documentation on Google. So once you find your DNS settings, enter the DNS1 and DNS2 entry here and there we go, save the changes and then all the devices connected to this router will use this DNS server unless they are updating their own. Now to check if you have successfully updated your DNS, all you have to do is run a simple nslookup command from the terminal. If you don't know how to do this, check out my tutorial on RTT. A link to that will be in the description and YouTube cards. So that's it for now. If you find this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment on which topic would you like me to cover in next video. And like always, this is Pranal signing off and thanks for watching.